everyone, I'm JD from Willowbound Journals. Welcome back to my channel. I have got a new faith journal to share with you guys. This is a baby themed journal or a childhood themed one. So this cover, I just really love this cover and how it says Psalm 139. And one of my favorite verses is, yeah, Psalm 139 verse 14. I praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. And as I share a flip through of this journal, I will just share about what that scripture means in my life. Uh, but first, yeah, just talk about the pages here. I included coloured pages uh, as to represent the rainbow, uh, because rainbow represents for me God's promises and especially God's love. So that's always been very important to me knowing that when everything else can be shaken and shaky, um, God's love is a promise that I can always rely on and stand on, um, and that's unshakable. So, yeah, I've got that promise of the colours throughout the Bible, uh, throughout this journal. Um, I've included Bible pages from the Word Bible, and I included pages that had images of babies or children. I've made this journal... A few times in the past with this same cover I just love it uh, one time I gave away a version of this journal to a friend for her baby shower uh, so it could be a journal for a mother to write about their child um, to record their baby years or to write prayers for their children as they're growing up um, or just as a prayer journal faith journal maybe to write about your own childhood a devotional journal love this middle page uh, here with the scripture there. Uh, so yeah, the verse Psalm 139 verse 14 definitely is one that I come back to. Uh, I don't know about you, but for me, I can have a lot of negative self-talk. Basically, it's full of lies. So if you're out there and you ever have thought this, just want to let you know you're not the only one because there was a time in my life when I thought I was the only one who had thoughts like this. Uh, I am no one, I am nothing, I am worthless, I'm unlovable, I'm no good, those kinds of thoughts, I'm a terrible human, I'm a bad person, uh, you know, not good enough, not a good Christian, I'm a failure, I, I fail at life, I fail at being a human, I fail at being a Christian, I'm the worst of the worst, I'm the lowest of the low, so if you've had these thoughts before, um, or if you have them now, I just want to let you know you're totally not alone in those. The longer I live, the more people I meet who I realize have these exact same thoughts. There's nothing unique about us in this. <laughs> we all have insecurities. We all have struggles. And to think that we are unique in these thoughts and struggles is to put ourselves in a prison and to suffer in our um thinking that we're isolated, that we're alone, that there's something wrong with us, that there's something different about us. No, we we often have the same struggles, the same thoughts, the same lies that we tell ourselves. I'm just going to loop this video. Um, and for any of you who do have those thoughts, just something that encourages me, yeah, this scripture, and there's plenty of other scriptures in here that in the Bible that encourage me. For example, Romans 8.38 absolutely nothing can separate us from God's love um you know just reminding myself that no matter how bad I can feel about myself and no matter how much I feel like I've made a mess or failed or made mistakes or I'm just wrong all the time or whatever um that that still <laughs> those feelings and even if it's true that we may may have made a mistake we might have hurt someone we might have let someone down even with all that being true it doesn't separate us from God's love. Our feelings, our own self-hatred, our own negative self-talk, the lies that we tell ourselves, the situations that we find ourselves in, they none of them separate us from God's love. We might feel separated from his love, but that's not the truth. What's the truth is what's written in God's word. And so that's something to always come back to. If you come back to your feelings, the feelings can lie to you. Your own thoughts can lie to you. Um, so just a really good reminder to me um, that no matter what's going on in my internal world and no matter what's going on in my external world um, that nothing separates me from God's love 
I am fearfully and wonderfully made no matter how badly I feel about myself, no matter how ugly or useless or hopeless or worthless or too far gone I feel, um, that nothing changes this fact, this truth that we are fearfully and wonderfully made um, and to know that nothing ever changes God's love for us. He can't love us more. He can't love us any less. And we can rest in that safety, that security, that peace of his love. And it's a lifelong journey for me to experience that love and trust that love and know that love. And I hope that you'll go on that journey with me, that day by day, month by month, year by year, we will get to know his love a little bit more. You know, the struggle may always be there, the insecurities may always be there, but little by little, we will journey with God and understand more and more of his love. So I hope that was encouraging and just may you, through this video, feel and know <laughs> that you are so, so loved. May we all know, it's like the prayer of my heart, how wide, how high, how far, how deep God's love is for us. Because I, I don't know, I feel like just that's everything. <laughs> it's my rock that I stand, it's my foundation, it's everything that I come back to. And um, it's, yeah, my yeah, my rock in my life. So I've had depression, I've had anxiety, I've had really painful times, times that I've failed and really, really, really hard times. But God's love is the thing that's gotten me through and something that I can know is reliable, unending, never-ending, eternal, powerful, transformative, the most beautiful thing in the world. And I want more and more of that love and I hope and pray that we all see more and more of that love together. So may you, as you're watching this, just know how loved you are. You are so, 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 so loved. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video. If you're interested in this journal, it is available, so feel free to email me. Thank you so much to my beautiful patrons who supported me in October and allowed me to create and share videos for another month. If you'd like to become a patron in November and support what I do here, that would be so, so appreciated. I'll leave the link below to my Patreon in the description box below where you get access to extra videos, first preference for my journals, uh, behind the scenes updates, and if you're a Ruby tier or high, you get every single digital kit from my Etsy plus an extra one every month, and there are also some mail tiers. You get something sent to you in the mail.